you start a debate about Cracker Barrel and Waffle House. I don't know, but you Douglas. just started it. You just started it, and now I'm going to go on the record as oh, saying no. I am a 100% Waffle House. You and Matthew Capucci. Now I will. I do eat Cracker Barrels Far food, superior. despite the way that you know people in, in the African American community feel about the name of Cracker Barrel. They yeah, don't they really, really like that. that. However, I go but eat. The food is good. No, 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 I go eat that that uh, uh, hash brown casserole Ooh. they have over there That's for all breakfast. You have to say. Oh, come on with it, uh, Cracker Barrel. <laughs> <laughs> Cracker Barrel offers free food for a year to couples who in, get engaged for Valentine's Day. So, what? yes, if you get engaged for Valentine's Day, not just any old couples, but you have to be getting can say, engaged. We got engaged. Let's go. Put well, on you hold on. Guys. You know these good people. You walk through the Cracker Barrel lobby. You know those people gonna oh, yeah. do their homework. They know you're not messing around. You. Mo <laughs> You, right, these are people who still eat sugar babies and sugar daddies and stuff like that. So they're going to do their uh, research. But free food for a year for couples who get engaged for Valentine's Day at the Good Cracker Barrel. And we're back at it again. America's got a lot of money going around. $747 million Powerball jackpot. Ninth largest lottery prize in U.S. history. You know what I'm about to ask you. Are you going to play... I mean, Marina. I'm at the point now where unless it gets close to one billion, <laughs> right? <laughs> because I keep losing dollars, and so, I'm just not about that life. But so, are you telling me that America has our standard of living is so good that we can sneeze <laughs> at 500 million? No. If it reaches a billion, then I try. I'm going to play. But my odds are so bad. True. That I'm just like, why, why waste the two dollars unless it gets to a billion? I get you know I'm what? We keep doing the song and dance once a month, Joe. You know, I can't keep playing the lottery like this. Well, I think I'm gonna play. <laughs> I could use the 700. <laughs> Listen, on one of those million dollars. I'll take breakfast 10, at the Waffle House or the Cracker Barrel on you whenever you Word want. Word up. I got you. Okay. I got you. That's all I'm asking for. I'm a cheap date. All right. Let's go check in with the rest of our crew here at Fox5DC.com. At John Colucci back in the house. We hey. missed you, John. What's going on? I know. So a lot of extremist stuff going on. It's crazy down line. So first, uh, the FBI has foiled an extremist plot involving uh, some power stations, some substations in the, the Baltimore area. There was a woman from Baltimore and a, and a Florida man, of course. Um, who they aimed to destroy the entire city of Baltimore by shooting up a set of substations, which would obviously lead to power outages, a lot of freezing. This is one in a number that have happened recently, yeah. or attempted to happen recently. Well, there's there were some in North thing, Carolina, North Carolina, West. Washington State. Yeah. Um, there's a whole thing online, and we link to it in the story, about ties to right-wing extremists, white supremacy. There's this kind of crazy mm. situation going on. Um, but the FBI is really stepping up their patrols to make sure this doesn't happen. Well, the really headline here is it was out. foiled. So it was that's, foiled, that's exactly. So we love that. All right. Separately, on egg prices are still out of control in a lot of places. Yes. And there's a new theory spreading all over social media, or breeding all over social media. See what they what they did there? I didn't write, <laughs> I didn't write those. I'm not that creative. Um, so this theory is that um, chicken feed has been tainted a bit so that the chickens produce less eggs and in turn the farmers then have less eggs to give and then you pay more for the eggs and mm. they make more money and all this stuff. But this has been debunked? This has been very much debunked because okay. of the fact that a lot of the reason for this egg shortage is chickens have been, you know, uh, depopulated due that's a nice well, way of saying the thing due to around. bird flu yep. so they've been really working on that but um, but obviously farmers want nothing more than to get more eggs in production so more people can enjoy it and then more eggs breed because you know chickens don't lay just eggs for they lay it's eggs to make more chickens theory too many people with too much time on their hands exactly on the, on the and interwebs. that's why we're here yeah. just like us yeah <laughs> lots of conspiracy <laughs> well, you guys are, are trying to clear the air and get things right, right. thank you john oh boy but anyways yeah eggs are still really expensive y'all i know they've come down since december but still Dang it.